Hey everybody, it's Gamaragi. We're back with Dark Souls 2. Last time we made our way through uh, part of No Man's Wharf here. Uh, I exploded over there. And then we kind of left off here. Uh, there's, that's where the checkpoint was in that building. There is a big old trick up there. I'm using a new shield uh, because this one has more defensive. <laughs> it, it blocks more physical damage. And I can use it. Hi. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and I kind of ran in here and killed a couple guys that were sitting at this table. Um, because there was somebody shooting arrows at me. So, I had to get it done. Anyway, we're in here now. So let's see what we got. A chest! Full of... Another fragrant branch. Fantastic. I need that. Okay, these pots are actually full of poison. So, I'm just gonna pew pew them from over here. Yeah. Throwing knives and flame butterflies. And a secret! For the demon! Oh, you little punk. Oh my god. I'm not- I'm not gonna hit it. I'm not gonna hit it, dude. Ugh. Oh, rapiers are not the best for hitting tiny things. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back and get that. Someday. And another chest! How these guys even got trapped in here. Royal Soldier's ring. Sol- Sol- Soldering Iron Ring. Uh... What does it do? Increase maximum load. Ah. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, I don't think I need that right now, but maybe in the future. <laughs> maybe. We'll see. All right. Bring it on, you demons. I got your number now. I think. Hello. Ooh, they're a hardy bunch. Hardy bunch of demons. Come on out. Or you die. Or you die. How did I miss? Is it dark in there or something? I think you can backstab these. Yep. <laughs> Oh, they're creepy. I don't know what they are. But they're creepy. Guess I didn't really have to kill them. Sorry. So sorry. No, oh, I want this. Yes. Life gems. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure you can use, um, they're not use. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can summon Lucatil for this fight. Oh, wow, did they move her summon signature way over here? Wow, they sure did. That's actually really handy. It used to be over there by that, um, checkpoint. Very nice indeed. What is this? Hidden path ahead? I saw you, but I did nothing about it. <laughs> Knock down? No way. Oh my god, they made a huge shortcut. Wow. Wow. That's really nice. That's very nice of them to do that. That didn't used to be there. You had to run all the way around every time you wanted to fight this boss, but now you can just run straight through. That's crazy. Hey, dude. Hmm. I see light, but it remains dim. I am Carillion, and I've no interest in the magic impaired. 
Did he just call me dim? Hmm. I see light. I am Carillion. Yeah, so this is Carillion of the Fold. He teaches sorceries and stuff. But you have to have enough intelligence. Um, and I have... Uh... Three. <laughs> wow. That's really low. No wonder he doesn't want to talk to me. I think you need maybe ten, or at least somewhere close to that. Can't remember now, but... Yeah, he won't even come back to Majula unless you have enough intellect. Bummer. And that, um, when I first heard of this expansion, Scholar of the First Sin, I thought he was the Scholar of the First Sin, because he studies the First Sin that, um, was committed. I don't know if I want to summon you yet, Lucatiel. I kind of want you to live, so... Hang on. Let me take care of things. Hopefully not die. But yeah, he, he studied the First Sin, so that, I thought he was the scholar. What is that? Do you see that thing waltzing around over there? Oh my god, it's a guy coming. From far away, his animations w weren't going on. It looked really funny. Oh my. You are a jerk, Sir Knight. Oh my god, that was dangerous. I don't really like dodging around when I can just fall off and die. <laughs> Knowing me, that's probably how I would have died, too. Ah! I'm getting, like, their entire armor set. Hello. Hello. Huh. Man, they're all dropping stuff. It's crazy. Oh, they put one of those mummy dudes on here. This is a very dangerous ship. <laughs> they had like, I don't know, five dudes on here or something before? Hey! Hey! There you go. Uh, as you can see, I also bought some life gems. So I can conserve my Estus for the boss. <laughs> Alright, Lucatiel. I think we're, we're good to go. You had to take Lucatiel from all the way over by that checkpoint to the ship. It was really dangerous. She would most likely be dead if you didn't take care of things before. Beforehand. Hey, Lucatiel. Don't fall in the water or you're sure to perish. Keep it up it up. This is such a cool ship. I wonder if they made the the AI smarter. Whoa. What was that? I wonder if they made the AI smarter so they don't fall in the waters quite as much. It used to be a big problem. And as you can see, the bottom of the ship is clearly filling with water. So, this boss fight is a little crazy, because we have to beat it in a time limit. <laughs> um, before we all drown in the water. Here we go! Flexile Sentry. Oh, you look familiar! Oh my god, that's new. I don't remember that attack. I might say. Oh god, please. Good <laughs> deal. Staying on the club side is actually pretty safe. Because he attacks slower. 
But the sword guy is crazy. We did it. Woo. Oh, we did it. Thanks, Luke Teal. I think the water is still filling up, so you kind of have to get out of here. <laughs> it really was a ghost ship. First time I played this game, I immediately inspected this, which uh, takes you to the next area and teleports you out of here, so I completely missed this chest the first time <laughs> I played. Don't do what I do. We get pyromancy flame and a fireball. Oh yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure we can use it like right off the bat. Uh, and it doesn't weigh anything? Right? No weight. No weight at all. Cool. Uh, we don't have a pyromancy equipped in our top slot there. But if we did, we could, we could throw some fireballs and be like, yeah. But uh, we'll just have a flaming hand for now. Okay, let's go. Let's use this crazy compass thing. That looks a lot like... Uh, that room in the Skyrim, where you get one of the Elder Scrolls. Doesn't it look kind of like that? <laughs> With the big rings around it and stuff? I don't know. Anyway. cool is that? Commandeering the ghost ship? I don't know how it managed to turn around though, because it was definitely coming in uh, bow first, and then it left <laughs> it managed to just like back up and leave bow first there was no turning around there but uh, yeah here we are at the base of a giant cliff or something Hello. Pirates. Eat this. Oh my god. I'm gonna accidentally do that shield stab so often. <laughs> uh, so many people died here. That's really unfortunate. Right after you beat a boss, you end up dying right here. Wait up. Hey, there's an item. I want that. I want it. Oops. Try backstepping. <laughs> Right. Um. Hmm. Oh, hey. So this is actually an area we've been to. Yup. This is the other entrance to Lost Bastille. <laughs> How crazy is that? What a way to get here. Oh, look at all these poor undead. Dead in their cells. They're quite dead, actually. They're not undead anymore. Common fruit. Look, he's checking all the doors just like me. <laughs> and there's a bonfire. Whoop, whoop. Not gonna rest, though. Uh... 
right. And this is the top of that wall that uh, we saw before. So anywho, I'm gonna go try to get this item now. Well, four eyes or forgetses. Whoop. Going down without me, are you? Oh, you're quite the elevator. Quite, quite the elevator. Let's see how glitchy this is. Did they fix it? Oh my god, they fixed it. It used to be when you stood on top of this elevator, you'd be like popping off and stuff because they didn't code it correctly to be stood on top of. <laughs> Scimitar and repair powder. Yeah, but I guess they fixed it. Now it's like, it works just like the normal elevator. Sweet! Going up again. I've been playing a, a little bit more Dark Souls 3 uh, this past weekend. Bosses are starting to get uh, a little insane. And, uh, yeah, they, they get pretty intense. <laughs> I had to take a break, because there was one boss I just kept dying on, so I was like, you know what? I'm not really... I'm not really energetic enough to keep taking this on. So I'll just take a little break, come back later. Man. I haven't... I haven't done that since... Dark Souls 1. Taking a break. From a... From a boss that was just really, really frustrating. Actually, no. That's a lie. I think I did that in this game, too. What is that thing that looks broken? What is that? Nullify human effigy's effect? What? I didn't burn a... Oh! Wait, you can remove your human effigy? What? I didn't know you could do that. Why would you do that? You could just die and do the same thing. I know I have 19,000 souls. And this is scary, but... I'm doing it anyway. I'm gonna go <laughs> complete the loop. I'm gonna complete the loop. Oh, I see you, buddy. Pion. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't like these fire arrow dudes shooting at explosive barrels. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Hello. No, shoot the barrels. Shoot. Hey. <laughs> hey, buddy. You're going down. See? So this is the ladder we could have climbed up. I don't think there's anything down there, so I'm not really going to go down there. This... You can get a drop on that guy if you wanted to. But we just knocked down his, his tower and killed him. <laughs> I guess there's only one thing we can even do over here that we haven't done. And let's go over here. Oh god. Ooh, don't fall. Whatever you do. Soul of a brave warrior. Look how brave we were. Give it up, don't you dare. Oh god, look at that. What a crazy cliff. Okay, and that was it. So yeah, we just completed the uh, Lost Bastille loop. <laughs> this entrance is... Uh really close to the bonfire actually but yeah yeah it is it's really close actually uh, eh, I don't know it's about the same distance from the from the McDuff workshop okay uh, 
well, let's just homeward bone out of here, I guess. I could run through there, but I'd, I'd rather not. <laughs> it's what homeward bones were made for. All right. Back to Majula. Doo -doo. Okie smokey. Uh, let's see if I can upgrade my weapons. Nope, I can't because I need chunks. Yep, that's right. Sorry, man. I'm just wasting everybody's time these days. So, now that we've completed the first two areas, there was that whole, like, scary boss section of Hyde's Tower of Flame that I didn't go into. Uh, I, I just don't know. I just don't know if I'm ready for that right now. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back when I'm really OP, and then it'll, it'll be a big deal. There's really not a whole lot. Um, there's a boss over there, but behind the boss, it's not... It's not, like, that important for us to do that right now, so... I might just leave that till... Uh, later. However, Bear, seek, let. Uh, we can move on to the new area now. Let's see, what am I gonna put points in? Mm. I have so much dexterity. That's crazy. You know, I'm gonna put some points in strength actually. There's a shield I want to use. <laughs> That's my excuse. Was that enough, though? It was. I only needed 12. Uh, actually, no. This one is the one I want. I need 16! Well, we can use this in one anyway. It's the flower shield. Check it out. Lady with the flower shield. Yeah. It doesn't block a whole lot, though. As soon as I get 16 strength, we'll switch to the other one. <laughs> uh, and then I'll just buy a bunch of these, because, yeah. Thanks. I don't wish to die. I wonder if Kale's in here. I bet he is. Oh, pale kale. There he is. Oh, there's two flames now. Oh, hello again. You've made it. The map, I presume. Of course. Take a good look. Oh, it looks pretty, uh, mappish. Even more flames have appeared. I don't know what causes it. Hmm. I don't either. And how come they don't burn me? Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't there when I came here before. I don't know what explains it. But there is something greatly comforting about that flame. It seems to fulfill something very precious, deep within the soul. Something essential. Mm. Interesting. I would not venture far into that hole. It was blocked by a wall, something built long ago. But it was crumbling, and I finished the job. Now a foul sound echoes with you. Something was blocking it. I think he's talking about down here. Now he's, there's a skeleton down there. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the flip? It... Alright, Kale. Have fun with your map. 
Hopefully more flames will appear. Uh, at random. <laughs> Alright, anyway. We can move on now. <laughs> we finished the first two areas uh, that you can pick from at the beginning. But to get to this other area, we've already seen, you have to use the fragrant branch to get past the stone, stone lady. I didn't even attune my pyromancy. That's okay. Maybe later. So much garbage on the ground. Ugh. Quit dirtying up the environment with your death, people. What a mess. Hello. You're free! Oh. She flew way over there. Hello, madam. Do not be afraid. I will promise not to poke you. They did say that the fragrant branch uh, caused nausea and stuff. She she does so much coughing the first time you talk to her. <laughs> so hilarious. I'm fine. I think. No no no. I'm fine. Really, I am. Um. My name is Rosabeth. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh. Hey, Rosabeth. No problem. How long were you there? Oh. You're that traveler. I still haven't thanked you. Well, I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks? Ah. Uh... Thank you. That has nothing to do with pyromancy. I was attacked and turned to stone, I think. I owe you my life. If you have not come. Oh, I feel shameful wearing these rags. Uh, yeah, those are pretty, uh, pretty nasty rags. <laughs> um, I hate to burden you further. As you've already saved my life. But... Just look at me. My clothes are in tatters. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? I'll take anything. Whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Anything at all will do. Just put it on the ground. And I'll change into it later. Yep. So, <laughs> this is a really weird NPC. Um, you can dress her up in whatever armor you want, and she'll put it on. Um, but you don't get it back, so. We'll just give her something. Something sensible. Like a burp. Merp. How about what I came in with? <laughs> there you go. Uh, that is all. Okay. So she'll put that on next time we meet her. Uh, she also reinforces pyromancy. 
Mm, but we need, um, I think, f fire seeds or something. And also souls would be nice. And then she sells a bunch of pyromancy too. Which is very cool. And some rings. Defense rings. Wow. I may have to buy those. I have my very own teacher. His name is Korean of the Fold. A famed sorcerer in Melfia. Our hometown. I was fascinated by sorcery. And so... Well, he's so unique, you see. When he set out for Drang Lake, I couldn't let him go alone. But we were separated quite early on, I'm afraid. I've seen him. I'm rather unskilled, and the Lord probably ditched me. But oddly, I'm a fast learner when it comes to pyromancy. What we're fascinated by, and we're skilled at, are not always the same thing. Oh, why can't I just focus on what I truly enjoy? Oh dear, I shouldn't be so choosy. It's hardly my place. Uh, right. Right, right. <laughs> this lady. <laughs> uh. You just, you were just freed from stone and this is what you're going to talk about? I have my very own teach. His name, I was, when he, but. Thank you so much. I'm very happy for this gift. After I change into this, I'm heading for Majula. Hmm, I'm not sure where I might find the Lord. But perhaps Majula is my best chance. Yeah, not likely. I'm not smart enough. Okay, well, uh, yeah, she'll go back to Medulla. I'm gonna take out these guys. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be an ambush. I don't like ambushes. <laughs> Alright, uh,. Watch out, lady. Crazy things are about to happen. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's a lot of dudes. Googly eye. Uh, uh, uh. And if you don't dodge at the right time, they're gonna hit you. <laughs> we did it. Look at she just stands there. Aren't you a master of pyromancy? Why can't you help me? Try left. Whoops! Bonfire! Try right! Hmm. Aha! Give it to me! Oh my gosh! That's this flash card. Wow. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. Estes Flask Shard. Estes Flask. There's too many S's. I'm bad with S's as it is. I can't even say as it is. Estes Flask Shard. Estes Flask Shard. You almost need like a pause in there. Oh, whoa, hi. Why is there a dwarf here and he's really colorful too swinging around an anvil <laughs> wow look at that crazy colorful clothing it's all decorated with coins and everything I think 
It's really colorful. Wow. Germ armor. He's a germ. He's a germ. Look at this. Anvil. He swings around an anvil. Man, that must be so heavy. You're crazy, man. Oops. Oh. Yeah, the Gir Girm people are, uh, like dwarves. You don't see them this early. Usually. <laughs> Can I hit you? Through the door? Yeah. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, there's a hole in the ceiling. How oh, nice. Alright, well. That was that. <laughs> Bonfire get. I should probably end it here. Holy cow, please stop. Alright guys, uh, next time we'll continue on... Yeah, continue on, see where this path goes. I think I'm going the right way. Huh. I could have sworn there was like... Maybe thinking of another area. It's probably up ahead. Alright, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what's up here. Because I clearly forgot. See you guys later. Bye bye!